hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you a second technique on how to create winglets now this technique is more special than the first one that i've created and this one uh, you're gonna have a lot more control on the angle of the winglets and also the curvature in this area right here so let me show you as you can see i have a user parameters that i've created right here it's on 15 degree, 50 degrees if I want, I can just quickly change it to 90. I can also change it to 30 degrees. And you can see it looks really, really nice. Uh, if I change it to 80 degrees, and right here I can change the curvature to, to 10 degrees, for example. Or I can even go 50. And you can see how the, the shape of the winglet uh, change accordingly and very fast. And it's a very simple way and efficient way to work this way and what i want you to do is i want you, I want you really to uh, to sit down and really understand the technique how i did it why i did it uh, because like most of the techniques that i'm sh showing you on my videos they are universal techniques which means that you can use them in all kind of situation you can use maybe only just part of it or you can use all of it depends on the situation what exactly you're building so uh, so this technique it's not only for uh, for creating or working with winglets but it's also for other stuff as well so let's go ahead and check it out okay so now we're going to start with a new uh, file here uh, as usual i always like to start with a new component and i'm going to create um before we're working actually creating the sketches so i'm just gonna go and create two user parameters the first one i'm gonna call it winglets um, angle and let's go and choose the right unit so it's going to be degrees and i'm going to give it i don't know 80 degrees and we create a second one and it's going to call it swing uh, let's dia so that's going to be a diameter uh, that's normal millimeters and it's gonna be, let's just say 20. Okay, so now we're ready. <clears throat> now we can start with our first sketch. And in the beginning, I'm, I'm assuming you're gonna raise your eyeballs, but don't worry, you're gonna see in a moment why I'm doing what I'm doing. Okay, so we start doing kind of this squarish uh, shape, and I'm going to create a midpoint constraint over here and I'm also gonna give this one a dimension 50 it's fine and this one over here 170 it's also fine we can always change these things later now this is gonna be the shape of the wing which basically means you can do whatever shape that you want okay I'm just gonna do one which is you know straight uh, all the way now I'm going to turn all these lines into construction lines and from this point we are basically uh, finished so I'm going to finish the sketch now moving on to the next step uh, next step we are going to create a planet angle and it's going to use this line right here now the degrees we're going to use the winglets angle that we have created okay the user parameters and we're going to hit enter and from now from here we are going to create a sketch on top of this uh, plan now we need to as usual we need to project the points here this one this corner here and this corner here okay now remember project only what you need okay not more not less so i just need this point right here and i'm going to create the shape of the winglets that i want it's gonna be something like that and like that you can hit escape and again, 
these are also going to be construction lines like that and finish so that's what we uh, we have so far it's looking good and now we are actually going to start building the the wing the wing and the winglet itself so what we're going to do now we're going to create a construction plan with through three points so we're going to choose this point this point and this point like that and we're going to create a new sketch here but first we're going to project oh sorry we're going to project only this point here this point here and obviously we also got this point right here and yes so from here we can just uh, hide uh, those two so they're not gonna bother us I'm going just gonna create a straight line from here and another one over here now we can go and grab the circle let's create a circle right here and I'm going to create a tangent constraint between the circle to this line and this one right here so let's zoom in now the diameter uh, of this one we're going to use our winglets diameter like that now we need to uh, make sure that uh, we need only the, the lines that we need which means we need to do some cuts here because I don't need this line right here in this area or this section and I don't need this area over here so I'm going to break so you can see when I'm gonna hit so it's gonna give me breaks points of the circle and I also need to do a breaks for this line and also create a break here so I'm not gonna delete but if you want you can just delete those lines and I'm also going to delete this section over here so now this line connected to this line and this line okay because of the tangent constraint that we have created so this is how it looks and we can finish this sketch now let's move on to the other side and I'm going to do the same and the reason that I'm doing this one also on this side is that uh, if you make any change it, changes to this sketch here that we're creating the base one and that means the, um, the, the plane is also going to change accordingly and everything else is also going to change accordingly that's why I'm doing it so we're creating this kind of uh, dependency between everything good so now we're going to do the exactly the same thing so we're going to create a new sketch on this one uh, I'm just going to put it on an angle so I can see what I'm projecting so we're going to project this point over here this point over here and this one over here exactly the same way as before okay again straight line from here to here and over here and we can finish it we're going to create a new circle right here and we're going to use the tangent constraint to this line over here and this one over here I'm going to zoom in and we're going to give it a dimension again and make sure if it's radio, uh, radio, um, uh, radius or uh, whatever so make sure that you have the option see diameter or radius so if you're doing right click you can change between them I'm using diameter so this is the diameter that I'm going to use and again it's the same user parameter winglets dia like that and we're doing also the breaks now I'm going to break this area over here and over here and I'm going to turn the rest to construction this one these two as well voila okay uh, I'm keeping this so just in some point in time 
Uh, I always remember what I used over here. I used a circle, I didn't use a, an arc, but you can also use an arc, whatever comfortable for you. And yes, so we basically finished with this one. Now what we're going to do, let's bring up all our sketches so we can see what we've got so far. So it's looking really, really good. Now we're going to create the uh, aerofoil and we need to add it. So I'm going to use this one over here gonna create 90 degrees and i'm gonna create sketch exactly before as before i'm just going to project this point and this point oh, sorry uh, we have this point and this point Good, so now, oh, sorry, it's not visible, now it's visible. Good, now I'm going to create a sketch here, straight line, and I'm going to make it a construction, and that is because I'm using this airfoil sketch from a file, this add-on, which you can find on the uh, Fusion 360 add-on site. And, and this one is actually using a construction, not a normal line, just a construction line, in order to uh, use that line, this length, to build the airfoil. But this video, it's not about um, it's not about how to build airfoils and all that stuff. So I'm not gonna talk about it. But if you want any help, you can always contact me on my uh, uh, on my website. So we created our airfoil. Now I just need to remember to close it because this one is open. I could basically, it's actually preferable uh, to have it continue. So it's not going to be like a straight line like here. So it's going to be more pointy. But uh, in this example, I'm just going to just connect it like that. And we can finish our sketch. Now we can turn back on almost everything. Let's see what we need. We definitely we don't need this one. And we also don't need this one. These two sketches. Okay, they were just guides for us. So now that's what we've got. And we can go now to our sweep command. And we can choose this profile. And we need path plus guide rail. This one can be a little bit challenging sometimes. We, they, there can be a difference sometimes which one you choose first. So let's see if that's the case in our situation. And it's not. But as you can see, now we created both the wing and the winglets at the same time. And everything looks really, really nice. Now, um, not only winglets at the top here, they're basically the same. Uh, they have... You, they're using maybe a different say, aerofoil here, something which is equal on both sides. So you're gonna use, uh, you know, um, you're gonna use the uh, loft command instead. Okay. But again, it's not about aerofoils, but it's mostly about the winglets itself. And this is it. And that's how you create it. And you have a really, really nice. You can see a really, really nice, perfect shape. And you can always come back here and play with the angle. You can change this to 50. You can make uh, the curvature right here maybe sharper, like that. You can see the difference. Or even shallower, like that. So you can play with it as you wish, um, anytime uh, in your assembly when you're working. So yeah, this is quite simple very uh, very effective and give you really really nice and beautiful results let me just turn this one up so you can see so now here you can see this is basically the area of the uh, you know the diameter over here okay and yeah so if you have any questions just let me know but remember watch it maybe once or twice if you didn't understand really what i was actually doing here it's very important uh, yeah there's, there are some extra steps here but they are very simple steps that's the whole idea okay and the sketches you can see they're all very very simple sketches nothing really special about them 
and that's also the way Fusion works. It's better to have more sketches, simple one, than to have one which a lot of you know geometry and everything. So still gonna get a really good performance over here. And look how many steps I did to create it, and it's really not that much. And again, in the end, it's about the results, and it gives us a really really nice result. Yep. So this is it. I um, also just want to remind you to go uh, to my website, check it out, testreg.com. Uh, there's going to be a link in the description. If you're looking for a new computer, you can get here a lot of good information. A lot of people perform the test here uh, that you will find all the information over here, how to do the test. And they have put the, all the results here in the table so you can go and check it out. Uh, all different kind of hardware configuration, CPUs, what kind of performance can it give you, and also GPUs. And this table can save you a lot of time and a lot of money. And of course, if you always, if you have a question, uh, if it's regarding one of my videos or whatever, or something else, you can always uh, find me over here and just register. It's completely free. Everything here is free. Uh, create an account. Then you can just create a new post and I'll do my best to help you as soon as possible. Uh, if not me, maybe someone else. Till then, uh, take care of yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you like it, don't forget to hit the like, and if uh, don't forget also to hit the uh, to subscribe and hit the bell icon so uh, you can get a notification every time I'm uh, sending a new video. And yeah, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.